Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start now. If you want to introduce yourself, go ahead and say something about who you are. Uh, my name is Max. I've lived in Chicago all my life. Okay. Are you familiar with plans to build a citywide wireless internet system? Oh uh, yes, I am. How do you feel about it? What are your What do you think about it? I I, I have to do a wait and see because uh, the unfortunate thing about this day and age, and especially Chicago, is that uh, anything could have an under or overhanded political agenda attached to it. So. It'll actually be interesting to see whether or not it has merit or whether or not it's to get somebody where they want to be. All right. Where do you get your news? Uh, get it from uh, printed media, uh, some television, uh, some internet. Um, again, you got to look at it with sort of an even hand and get a lot of viewpoints because uh, media is incredibly subjective these days uh, rather than objective. So finding the real story is what's important to us. How would you describe the internet? Um, very necessary and uh, a wonderful tool to make the world a much smaller place for information. However, unfortunately, it's made the world a much larger and more difficult place when it comes to sexual predators, uh, putting on age limits, laws, restrictions, etc. Uh, conservatives have way too much agenda attached. It doesn't help everybody, but general safety restrictions need to be applied and laws applied that would be helpful and prevent all the nastiness that's happening. Now. How's technology integrated in your daily life? Um, on a lot of levels, uh, ways you don't even think about. For instance, just commerce. All of the uh, technology in a grocery store actually saves so much time. People don't even remember when people used to have to look at price tags and punch in numbers. Some people don't even know how to use calculators anymore. Um, it's really a shame. But in a lot of ways, technology is a really good thing. Uh, some of it is dress up so people look good and feel good, but a lot of it really is useful. For instance, you're able to do this now without a crew of 15 people behind you, which is useful, but uh, some of the stuff they put into a car that makes it $50,000 is absolutely ridiculous. So. All right. How do you use the internet? Um, how do I use it? Mm -hmm. um, how do you use for it? For what purpose? Both. Um, how do you want to answer the question? For I, originally, I used it just for the sights and sounds. It's like a rainbow. It's like colorful. Um, but now it is uh, particularly to do a lot of commerce that involves me not having to either um, make unnecessary phone calls, make unnecessary travel. Um, it gets a lot of things easily done. Bless you, by the way. Um, but uh, it gets me uh, upfront on current issues, weather reports, stuff like that, that are real easy to uh, just take a quick glance and go. But it saves a lot of cost on long distance communications. Um, you can pass a whole lot of information between people very easily by email. Um, and if you want to for the entertainment purposes, it covers a lot of bases on entertainment too. So. How is this different from technology in the lives of your family? Um, well, my mother, who you just saw run into the grocery store a few minutes ago, is completely devoid of technology. And in her current life, she has no phone, no TV, no radio, etc. She strictly lives off of printed media. And basically, she enjoys actually the conversations we have now, where I've seen the other forms of media and we compare notes. Um, but uh, most of my other friends and family have just as much technology and experience with the internet that I do. Um, and those that don't, again, it becomes whoever has it, give me information. I, even the people that don't have it still want the information. How could the media do a better job, mostly talking about mainstream media? Um, tell the truth and be objective. They don't. I see evidence of it every day. And, 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 and when it's necessary to take an opinion, um, the corporate ownership and political background of whoever it is they're trying to help is so blatantly obvious. Either tell the truth or don't, but don't try and blow smoke up my ass.